Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Jane Hirschfield from The Lives of the Heart, published by Harper Perennial in 1997. This poem is entitled Salt Heart. I was tired, half sleeping in the sun, a single bee delved a lavender nearby, and beyond the fence a trowel shoulder knocked a white stone. Soon the ringing stopped, and from somewhere a quiet voice said the one word, surely a command, though it seemed more a question, a wondering, perhaps. What about joy? So long it had been forgotten, even the thought raised surprise. But however briefly, there, in the untuned devotions of bee and the lavender fragrance, the murmur of better and worse was unimportant. From next door, the sound of raking, and neither courage nor cowardice mattered. Failure, uncountable failure, did not matter. Soon enough that gate swung closed, the world turned back to heart salt of wanting, heart salts of will and grief. My friend would continue dying, at last only exhausted, even his wrists thinned with pain. The river suffering would take what it wished of him, then go. And I would stay and drink on as the living do, until the rest would enter into that water, the lavender swept in, the bee, the swallowed labors of my neighbor, the ordinary moment swept in, whatever it drowsily holds, I begin to believe oh, the only sin is distance, refusal, all others stemming from this, then come, rivers, come, irrevocable futures, come, come even joy, even now, even here, and though it vanish like him. That was Salt Heart, Jane Hirschfield from Lives of the Heart, uh, Harper Perennial in 1997. Um, and uh, yeah, just an incredible, wonderful poem. Lovely, incredible poems all throughout this collection. And I do recommend Hirschfield's work and her essays are also absolutely amazing. Um, so highly recommend it. Please do check out the description of the video for more information about Jane Hirschfield, as well as a link back to the publisher to purchase the book for yourself and a listing of other projects and <coughs> projects and series I'm currently working on. Um, please, uh, please feel free to comment below if you like what you're hearing. If you want to support us, just hit the like button or subscribe to the channel, or share these videos on social media. Any of these things help raise the profile of the videos and hopefully raise the profile of the poets that we're featuring and the poems that we're, well, that I'm reading. Um, I hope in some small way this uh, allows you to connect with the wider world of contemporary poetry and also access some of the poems from our past, uh, from the literatures of the world as well as uh, the literatures of now. So, um, I hope you, uh, you're having a wonderful Sunday and uh, enjoying your, your exploration of poetry and literature uh, with me <laughs> and hopefully with others. Um, until next time, stay safe and well. I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. We'll be back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And uh, until we meet again, wishing you all the very best in your own creative journeys and hoping that you find in some small way your ability to create and to connect through your creation uh, with the wider world. Uh, we are all part of one big conversation and uh, your voice matters, the things that you create matter. And I look forward to seeing and hearing more from you and from everyone else out there currently writing and creating, hopefully at some point in time, our paths cross and we're able to celebrate each other's work. And so until next time, stay safe and well, we'll be back. Keep reading and keep writing, keep building community and connecting with others, and we'll do the same, and we'll be back again soon. Bye.